so I have a lot of things to tell you, a lot of what they've said. I was outside, so outside I can hear it clearer than I can in my apartment. And they repeated the same lie that I molested Maria Allers. And then they said, no, it's a lie because I wasn't around her when she was a child. But I have to tell you guys this because as I go forward and talking about this publicly, you guys know that this was not to help me. This was not to do any, it wasn't sur just surveillance. It was to torture, harass, and hurt me. That's my point. If, the, if I don't tell the world this, no one would believe me. To falsely accuse me of doing that is the biggest lie ever. But also, it goes along with what I'm telling you. I'm going to pause this. I've got to show you the two cards that I mentioned, or maybe there are three that I mentioned. I showed you in a previous video, but I have to show you again. So I'm going to pause this and show you. So I told you about the 1989 card. This is the 1989 card. And inside is Claire with friends. It's clearly written to me. So at what point... When you were there with me all the time, and I, I was never around her sisters alone because I'm, I'm not someone's caregiver. And so they even admitted I was asked to come over to help take care of the kids because Felicia didn't want to. And that was the point. I was not alone with these kids. So at what point in all these years of giving me cards, thank you cards, did they finally come up with a scheme once I no longer wanted to be around them that now I'm a child molester? So when did this scheme come about? Anything to keep me around. This would have been, let me tell you the year. This would have been from, I got to get the exact year, where we're supposed to be forever friends. But as soon as I don't want a forever friendship with someone who doesn't treat me the right way, as you can tell, I'm now a child molester. Let me pause this. So that was from 2011. And so, again... In 2011, after that, because, again, there were issues that I've mentioned before, um, here's the issue that they have now. They said, well, one of the guys I dated briefly who wanted to marry me was Felicia's first cousin, her mother's sister's son. He's very old. He's much older than us. So they mentioned the fact that he knew me from the time I was a little girl and that that was kind of strange that but this would have been, we, we dated from maybe, maybe May of 2005 until about August 2005, around that time frame. And so since we've known each other all our lives, they were like, well, how could you say the family's crazy? Because they are. And that's why we didn't continue dating. But this goes to show, um, this would have been May 1st. And he said, did I, did Felicia talk to me about his grandmother passing away? So you guys can see that. So they thought it was significant. It's not significant because just because one person may be crazy, you don't think a whole family's crazy. So at what point in all of this did I suddenly become a child molester? I've shown you cards from the 80s, 90s, 2000s, 2011. And at what point did I suddenly become a child molester? Was it after I no longer wanted to be around them because they're crazy? Is that when it happened? So since when do you go from being somebody's forever friend and she gets upset when I said, this is, you gave me a, uh, what is that thing when you have to pass it around to a few people? A uh, chain letter to say, no, it's not a chain letter. This is what I'm telling you. So it's definitely a chain letter because it says forward, 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 forward. And then it says, send it to two people. So in response to getting a chain letter, I was, let me pause this so I can show you in a better way instead of just like randomly picking up pieces of paper. So it says, send it to two people. And I said, politely, please don't send me chain letters. And I got, it wasn't a chain letter. And then, sorry, and this whole thing. And I'll let you guys read it. Because if I'm being told uh, that it's not a chain letter, and I see it's a chain letter, will not bother anymore. Good, we're done. 
the person comes back. No problem. This is Felicia. No problem. And you can see what else. So then afterwards, this was February 6th. So we didn't speak until her birthday, which was the 21st. And I sent happy birthday. So she could tell that the relationship was over. It, this was 2011. There's no reason to say anything secret now because they admit it was out loud. It was supposed to catch me doing something wrong. And instead, it forced me, accused me of molesting Maria, her little sister. I would have been 12, I think, when Maria was born, which would have been, I think, in 1986. And like I said, we graduated from elementary school in 1987. And I wasn't around much after that because I went to Cardinal Spelman High School, which was far away from from my home and she went to Scanlon, which is far from Cardinal Spellman, the two different areas. So this idea that I was around them all the time, like I lived nearby them, I didn't. So they also brought up the fact that many years ago, I would fill out something and I would put their address so they could get the mail, like for like a sweepstakes or something like that. That was when we were kids. So they said, oh, they gave my address or where they lived recently. Well, something that happened in the 1980s that has nothing to do with the 20, uh, 2000s. It's completely different. It's a completely different situation because we would have been together, meaning I wasn't just randomly putting their address. If we were together, we I put the address. And if there was a time after that, I let them know, I put your address for like a sweepstakes, like coupons. Years ago, they would send out coupons. It wasn't just to randomly put their address. It was to give them something. Like, for example, I'll give you an example if you hold on. This is in 2010. I sent her, her mother, Gwen, a package. And I didn't want to ruin the surprise. It was Omaha Steaks. So my point becomes, if I'm sending you something to help you, you can't then say you live at my address and use my address to get me into trouble. That's how this was supposed to be. I was doing something positive. So it wasn't like I was getting my personal mail at her, her address or something for me. I did something for her. And I even told her. That's my whole point. This I've never seen people switch and twist things. The next point about that is that going back to the fact that uh, I dated her much older cousin. I think he's like, I, I don't even remember how much older. But when I was in high school, he was a man like, I could have been maybe 14. He would have been 20 something. So again, then that has nothing to do with her because they aren't close. They're not close in age and they weren't hangout close. They started to hang out more when I was around, which I didn't realize at the time because I would have been like 13, 14 years old. I was a kid and that was a man. So the idea that that has anything to do with Felicia doesn't. They're, they're not close. They're not age-wise close. And it, we weren't all hanging out together as when I, in like 2005. But there has to be something crazy with people when you haven't been in contact with them for, this is 2011, so I haven't been in contact with her since 2011, but they put their voices and everything to falsely accuse me of things and expect me not to be upset. The next big thing about that is they said they contacted my relatives to get in touch with me. That does sound like something they would do. And my point becomes, if I, we're going back now to the 1980s again. So I told you in a previous video that they said when I was a little girl, I made fun of someone on crutches, but they said, that's what kids do. They also said that I messed up the mic. This is very big for them. They keep going over this over and over and over again. They said, I messed up the lyrics to Billie Jean when it first came out. <laughs> Billie Jean, I think, came out in 1983, 19, you know, like the early 80s. And I would have been, I turned 10 in 1983 in December. So I could have been eight, nine, or 10. I think the music comes out before the album. So based on when the the song came out, it would have been probably before I was 10. So I'll say nine. And they said, I was adamant. The lyrics were different than not my, my, not my whatever. Because back then they had a child version, meaning they didn't want a bunch of us kids talking and singing about a man being accused of fathering a child. So they had like a different set of lyrics for 
child friendly lyrics for the radio, but the actual lyrics, like now we would think that's ridiculous. But back then, like there were certain things they didn't discuss and it was a big deal. So that was another thing that concerned about. I did a video about that. Who cares? I, I'm, I'm not interested. They said, well, that proves that I used to get things wrong a lot when I was nine. So the next thing I wanted to tell you guys about was, what did they say? Let me pause this and think. Okay, so they're concerned about the letter that I wrote to Eric and whether or not it was clear that it was clearly a rejection. Like I said, I have his letter in response and I can show you that also, which shows it was clearly a rejection, but it was cordial and we remained friends. So it says, I know I was evasive as to when I would be able to see you, but I'm still not sure. I plan on staying in Saudi for the duration of the Hajj, which may last for six months. However, I also plan to see you, to be with you, and to tell you all about this trip. Please write me to let me know how you're doing. And now let me tell you his response. Okay, so they wondered how come I didn't ask about him in my letter to him. How rude. And it says clearly, I got both your letter and card. So let me point it out because they'll come back. They have a lot to come back with. They have nothing else to do but come back with 30-year-old, 20-year-old, 40-year-old, 50-year-old information. So I did, I wasn't rude in the letter. I did send a card. And so he said he misses me a lot. I got both your letter and card today. So I'm writing back immediately, of course. Now... Wasn't there anything else you wanted to write about? Meaning he noticed the information. I'm in a foreign country so far away from home. I'm not going to say in a nasty way anything. Again, we were cordial. So here we are. Here's the next part. You hinted sort of mysteriously that there was something you were going to talk to me or going to write to me when we last talked, meaning he asked me something important, as you guys already can guess. He said, 